Hello and welcome to this session on Java. Today we are going to learn the basics of JDK, JRE and JVM. So let us begin and let us see JDK is an acronym for Java Development Kit. JRE is an acronym for Java Runtime Environment and JVM is an acronym for Java Virtual Machine. So what exactly do they mean is, let us look at JDK. So JDK is an environment to develop, compile and run Java applications. So if you are a developer, you will have to develop and compile your Java programs and finally run them on your system. So this is what JDK provides us and when we talk about GRE, GRE is an environment to only run Java applications. Now what does this mean is if you are a user of Java and you just need to run and use Java application then you need only a GRE and not a JDK. And when we talk about JVM, JVM is an interpreter to execute Java programs line by line and when we talk about uh, Java programs here we mean the Java bytecode which are the dot class files so this is what a JVM is uh, essentially now to understand it a little deeper let us look at a workflow of a Java program so whenever we create a Java program we save it as a dot Java file which is called the source code and when we compile our source code we get a dot class file which is the byte code and then when we execute our program the java interpreter or the gvm uh, reads our byte code line by line converts it into an object code for the machine and finally it runs on whatever operating system or machine we are using Okay, so this is a very basic workflow of a Java program. If we look at it in a little more detail, this is what actually happens. We create our Java code or program in any editor, let us say uh, Eclipse IDE, and then we save it as .java files, which is called the source code. And when we compile it, it produces the byte code, which is the .class files. And finally, when we execute it, the Java virtual machine or JVM interprets our byte code, reads the byte code line by line, converts it into the object code of the machine and finally our program gets executed. Okay, now to understand this architecture, this is what exactly happens in a very high level. We have our Java source code, we compile it, it converts to byte code, JVM reads it, interprets it and converts to the object code of the machine and finally executes it. Now if you look at this part where we are creating the Java code and compiling it, the tools and libraries which are required to develop and compile a Java programs are present inside JDK. So that is why it is called as Java Development Kit. But if you look at uh, this next part where we are just running our uh, Java programs or application this comes as a part of a JRE where, which is Java Runtime Environment so uh, if we look at the details JVM interprets and runs our bytecode and JVM is a part of JRE so JRE has JVM plus some runtime libraries which are required to run a Java application. But when we talk about JDK, JDK has a compiler, you can see Java C here and other libraries which are used to develop a Java program. So JDK contains JRE and JRE contains JVM. So whenever you will download JDK, you will get JRE and JVM with it. And whenever you will download JRE, you will have JVM always, okay? So this is a little detailed 
diagram or architecture of the same concept you can see the java virtual machine at the base and then there are some libraries which are used to run a java program and this makes our jre okay but when we add some more uh, tools and libraries which are used to compile and develop java program it becomes jdk so you can see java compiler is here jar is here and other libraries which are used to develop and compile a java program and then the entire uh, architecture or the entire system we can say this is a jdk okay so now you can actually appreciate it when you go to your browser and when in the initial sessions we have downloaded and installed java so when now i say download java we get to this particular site and when we click here it says us free java download i will click here and i will say agree and start free download now do you see here it is actually uh, downloading a jre okay so it is i will cancel this it is downloading a jre which will be used to run our java applications but if you want a jdk if you want to develop java applications we have to go down and we have to select the developers tab and here they will tell us that if you want to do java development then you have to download the jdks and jdks are here you can go select this jdk and then you have all the options for different operating systems you can download the jdk and then you can start with your java development okay so essentially if we now look at it we will understand jvm is used to execute pre compiled java programs which are the dot class or the dot jar files or essentially the byte code jre is jvm plus some libraries to run the java program and jdk is jre plus some tools and libraries to develop java programs so this is the basic difference and concept of jdk jre and jvm hope you like it thank you